last thing I would like to talk about is the color tone and color, color variation. So far we have been texturing a character which is predominantly Caucasian looking. This is the same character uh, with a darker skin tone. Uh, one of the things that you have to remember with the darker skin tone is veins won't be as visible on the surface and especially as a green tone there will be more lo darker looking. Also the redness is less predominant because of the high level of melanin in the skin. Uh, the redness is less obvious in the dark skin. It doesn't mean that the skin has no variations in color. Uh, quite the opposite actually. It has quite a lot of variation. Uh, especially in different shades of browns, yellows, uh, there is some purples as well and discolorations and uh, hyperpigmentation. Because of the way that black skin ages uh, in comparison to white skin, there is way more discoloration, uh, scars, marks uh, and hyperpigmentation. So for example, the scars are darker, as you can see here on a young boy. Uh, it's quite clearly visible. And already even on him, you can see quite a lot of uh, variation in skin tone depending on the area of the face. So the forehead is much darker than the cheeks, which is overall a, a typical thing uh, in black skin. Also with the lips, for example, very often the upper lip is darker than the lower lip. So you have much more redness and this sort of peachy nice tone on the lower lip whereas the upper lip is much darker on this guy even the both of the lips were dark uh, also very often the area around the eyes is much darker while the cheeks and the nose and the upper forehead are lighter in tone so this is our character with uh, darker skin tone and darker texture and as you can see uh, his area around the eyes is much darker there is way more variation in their brown colors and also there is still some redness and quite a lot of uh, discoloration overall so when you look at the layers there's still all the colors that we had in the Caucasian skin it's just the influence of the colors is different this time. You definitely will see less green, but for example you'll see much more bluish purplish tones and that is because of the physiology, the way black skin uh, ages. It sheds way more than white skin does, so basically you have a lot of dead skin cells on the skin, which causes this ashy, almost purpley undertone in many uh, black people for example so those are the things to remember when you're texturing black skin